Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> I know uh, I'm here to give you some answers, but I would like to start uh, making some questions. How could a uh, vaccination program be innovated? Um, have you ever heard about a vaccination program that takes place the middle of the night until early morning? And for what group of people would this be for? Um, my name is Paula, I'm a psychologist, and I'm here to talk about an experience called Every Artist Should Be Where the People Are, Extramural Vaccination Strategy for the Homeless Population. I'm from Jabotão dos Guararapes, and the city is located on the northeast of Brazil. And like any city in Brazil, it's a reality is full of contrast and inequity is a big challenge for the public manage. And the COVID worried the population. And if in one hand, the COVID worried the population, by the other hand, the vaccination brought hope, but not for all of us. There was a specific group of the population that wouldn't seek the vaccination. And even they didn't even know about the vaccination. So we decided to take it to them. How could we create a strategy that was adequate for this population? How could we do it? There's only one way to do it. It was listen to this population, uh, asking them to come together with us and tell us how to do it and tell us what time to do it and tell us what to bring for them, not on the vaccination. We have to bring love, we have to bring hugs and chocolates and water, condoms and health service um, and assistance service also. Okay, the strategy extramural vaccination and other health service uh, starting during the COVID pandemic, but is still uh, being right now. Uh, it's for homeless people, psychotic substance users, and sex workers. We also bring medicine for the uh, effects for the vaccination because the sex workers didn't get vaccination during the night because they had to work. And we, we would like to establish relationships with them, building trust and connecting each individual to health service and social assistance networks according to individual and collective needs. Like if you have pregnant, uh, we go the next day, we go there and take them to the doctors. If you have someone cold, uh, we, we take them to the hospital. So it's not only vaccination. Yes. Uh, we would like to show you a video about the experience. Very endeared song from Brazilian popular music sings that every artist must go where the people are. The health professionals from Chaboatão dos Guararapes in northeastern Brazil took this verse as an inspiration during the COVID pandemic and faced head on the challenge of vaccinating the city's homeless population. But this initiative didn't just offer vaccines, it aimed to dialogue, understand, and also consider some of their immediate needs. That's why it worked so well. Now it's incorporated as a permanent program in Jaboatão. On the vaccination drives, the city's health teams also register every person in the SUS, the Brazilian National Free Health System, and in the CAD Unit, the National Registry Program for Social Assistance. Those two programs give them access to other health appointments, exams, and many other welfare benefits, including financial assistance. Esse projeto ele nasce na necessidade do serviço e até o usuário. Então ele é um serviço que tem uma parceria com o Movimento Nacional da População em Situação de Rua, com o apoio da Secretaria de Saúde e com a gestão. 
a gente oferta serviços de saúde e de assistência social. E com cada ação a gente vai ampliando, a gente vai aprendendo, a gente vai sentindo falta de trazer novas ofertas e a gente vai ampliando a partir das ações e a partir do que eles vão identificando. E aí a gente só conseguiu ter essa eficácia, a gente conseguiu vacinar mais de 85% da população em situação de rua aqui de Abotão dos Guararapes, porque eles estão junto com a gente, eles estão orientando, eles estão trazendo estratégias de aproximação, formas de abordagem, a gente entende que, que o grande sucesso da experiência foi a partir da, da parceria com a Secretaria, entre a Secretaria de Saúde e de Assistência e também com as pessoas em situação de rua. Valeu a pena lutar, a peleja é grande, não é fácil, mas a trincheira ela tem um sabor de vitória no final. Já Boa Towns City Hall have a motto, perto da gente. It means we must always be close to one another to promote real change. And we plan to keep on doing so. As a result, we have almost 9% of vaccination cover in the homeless population. 100% uh, of the public can now assess health and social service. And more than numbers, the greatest result was the guarantee of social justice and health equity for the most vulnerable in the times of pandemic and beyond. And they are so special to us that they, we bring one homeless people here to, to be here and to watch. Please raise your hands. Levanta a mão, José. Yes, he's here. And uh, yes, by the end, uh, our goals, sustainability for the program, expand service, uh, expand in the in Jabotão, and also to inspire another uh, person to do the same. Form our local and international partnerships, we need this, and continue to reduce health and social inequities. And okay. And by the end, uh, we would like to, our organization and team are deeply thankful to all PAHO staff in Brazil and at PAHO headquarters for their contribution and make this event a reality. So we are really, really happy and excited to be here. We would like to take PAHO to take World Health Organization and especially Antonio Vidal Institute. And if you are interested in our experience, please contact us. Thank you. Obrigado.